Hey, hey, welcome back to our channel. We are the Lifetime Travel Mates. My name is Jordi. And I'm Hikyam. And today we have a very special episode. Many of you suggested to try Goan food. So today we're going to try Goan desserts. The other day we went to the St. Joseph Bakery in Mapsa. Joseph Bakery has been run by the Braganza family for generations over 80 years now. This bakery is known to make some of the yummiest Goan and Portuguese bakes and savories. They have so many so variety many. of sweet snacks or even finger food. It was really hard to choose yeah. which one to buy, but we made some selection and I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, if we love these ones, maybe we'll do a second trip and try some other. <laughs> yes, we went there again to get some more desserts. The more desserts, the better, right? What should we start with? Okay, let's start with... I want to start with a bath. It seems like the mildest one. Bath cake, also known as batika, is a traditional Goan coconut cake. It is made with fine semolina, coconut, and sometimes flavored with aromatic spices. For Goan Christmas sweet recipes, the bath is very commonly made at most houses. Mm. Nice. Mm. It's like a sponge cake, kind of, yeah. but it's a bit more grainy because of the semolina. Oh. I mean, not, not super sweet, but... Mm. Coconut sweet. Coconut sweet. I'm gonna try dipping it in coffee because ideally it would be better with milk, but we don't have milk, we have coffee today, so... Mm. It's nice balance because the bitterness of the coffee balances very well with the sweetness of the bath cake. Mm. Oh, it's a very good combination, like Jordi said. Mm -hmm. Next one we're going to try is the perad, mm -hmm. which is the guava cheese. <laughs> it's not actually cheese, but since it gets this uh, kind of creamy texture, they call it cheese, but it's, there's no dairy in it. Mm. It's kind of a guava paste. Yeah, I think there were other, other different flavors. Let's see. Ooh. It smells... It smells like something. <laughs> it smells like... Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, it, it tastes like candy, you know those candies, like dry fruit. Sometimes there are mangoes in a, mm -hmm. like dry mango, stuff like that. It's very much like that. Yeah. Mm. I would love it more, maybe if it was mango or some other fruit. But guava is good. That's very cool. We don't have guava that often, but it's fine, it's okay. It looks quite hard from outside, but once you chew it, it kind of like melts, like slowly melts, and it's not that dry, it's kind of like moist, it becomes like moist. That's why they call it cheese. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna choose the next one. Next one is gonna be the Doce de Grau. Doce de Grau is another classic Goan dessert. Doce means sweet and grau means grain or bean in Portuguese. This Goan fudge is made using... Bengal garam? or chana dao, like chickpeas. Freshly grated coconut, sugar, and flavored with cardamom. This sweet is enjoyed by all Goans at any time as a snack or dessert and often prepared for wedding and other festive days. Wow! It's sweet, huh? Oh, it smells it sweet. It smells like coconut. Mm. Mm. Oh, nice! But it's filling, Ooh. right? Mm. One of those things that seems like if you eat two or three, you're gonna get really full. And it's quite moist and very soft. It's not too sweet. Maybe maybe it's because they put the chana dao here, so it's kind of like balances. Like I don't know. I feel it quite slowly. sweet. I feel it quite mm. sweet. But it's coconut sweet, so mm. it's very nice. Mm. I love it. It's nice. It reminds me mm. some panayets. Some sweets we have in autumn in Catalonia, Barcelona, because they are made with almond and sugar. So it's not that different. The next one we are going to try is... Bolinhas. Bolinhas are small cakes also known as coconut cookies. These are eaten at tea time. Oh. 
The main ingredients include semolina, sugar, ghee, flour, eggs, and cardamom. All right, I feel like I'm chewing some chunks of coconut, dried coconut. If you like coconut, you will love this. It's quite grainy and a bit drier than other sweets we tried before. I can also taste some herbs. Very nice. This is like panellettes. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's very familiar taste. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it in coffee, let's see what happens. Mm. It's nice because we didn't put any sugar on the coffee, so it balances the sweetness of the coconut and the bitterness. It's a nice combo. If you like coffee and coconut. Mm. These are so-called Goan pancakes and popular tea time snack. A soft crepe like outer is filled with coconut and jaggery. We had a chance to try them in a restaurant. So like we said earlier, we went to the Joseph Bakery again and got a few more sweets. Yeah, I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let, let's, uh, let's try we... the bowl Bowl first? first? Okay. Yeah? What's bowl made of? It's made of, I think, jaggery. It's heavy. Wow. And coconut. Jaggery, yeah, that's why it's dark, I guess. But coconut should be white, yeah. but yeah, because of the jaggery. At first when oh. I saw it, it looked like a chocolate cake. <laughs> yeah, like a chocolate cookie, right? But yeah. It smells, it smells like the kind of a burnt sugar. Ah, yeah, that kind of caramel yeah, thing. Good? Yeah. <laughs> no? Not amazing. Okay. <laughs> not amazing. I mean, texture wise, not so good. Flavor wise, it's, it's nice. Yeah. Mm. It's not very strong coconut flavor, I would say. It's not too sweet. So it's kind of balanced, but I think it's not the best on this list. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, you try. All right, let me try. I want to get filled with this. Mm. Mm. The texture is not super soft. Not really soft. Hmm? It's kind of bitter. Maybe it comes from this kind of like burn Maybe. taste or... As I said, it's not too sweet. Mm, it's not too sweet. Okay, the next one, let's try... This? <laughs> Pinagre, also known as pinak or pinaka, is another favorite dessert in Goa. It looks like croquettes, right? <laughs> it is made of Goan brown rice, peppercorns, clove, ginger juice, jaggery, and coconut. Here in Goa, we always see beef croquettes and we love them. And this looks like beef croquettes, but of course, there's no beef. Mmm, more sandy, mm. sweeter. I think this would match because I'm, I'm feeling a bit too sweet, so I think this would match with a milk tea or coffee, oh. something or maybe chai. I feel like, honestly, I feel like I just put like a one spoon of powder in my mouth. Yeah, yeah it's powdery. It's sandy. yeah, yeah. This one also tastes a bit like Christmas season or winter season. I feel. Yeah, it has some spice there. I don't know what spice is this, but. Maybe cinnamon or very sweet. The next one we're going to try bebinka, the, probably one of the most popular Goan desserts. I think it's the number one. Yeah. The most famous dessert in Goa. Yes, that is why bebinka is called the queen of desserts in Goa. This multi-layer sweet dish is made of plain flour, sugar, ghee, egg yolk, and coconut milk. This bebinka is a homemade from Joseph Bakery, so we are very excited to try mm -hmm. the homemade bebinka. Okay, you go first. We heard it's very hard to elaborate because if it's homemade, you need to make it layer by layer and it takes a lot of time. So we heard that many of the restaurants and places, they just outsource it to bakeries and you know. Mm -hmm. I would like to have this with uh, green tea or black tea because this one is really sweet so it would be a good match with some tea we also tried bebinka in a restaurant to compare how different it is it's warm it's very good 
I think this one would be a good match with some, I don't know, vanilla ice cream or... Mmm. Mm. It melts in your mouth. And last but not least, we have another quite popular dessert in Goa. It's dodol. Yes. Which is made of what? It's again, <laughs> jaggery and coconut milk. But this yeah. time it's... Ah, coconut milk, okay. This time it's in a pudding shape. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not sure if we are doing the right way, just spooning in. Oh, it smells like the bowl, like kind of a burnt mm. sugar thing. Oh my god. This is yummy. Really yummy. Yeah, it reminds me a lot some other dessert that I don't know, I don't remember now. Yeah, wow. Mmm, nice. Wow! Yes! It's like a pudding. Mm. It just melts in your mouth. Wow! Mm. It tastes probably similar to bowl or yeah. the pinagre we tried before. But since the texture is so, so smooth and soft and it, it tastes better. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We like this better than other, Yeah, other I can imagine like. these maybe spread wow. on some... Not toast, but maybe bread, like a small bread. Very nice. Probably my favorite. Oh, together with uh, Bevinka. Oh, yeah. by the way, this one we didn't get it from Joseph Bakery because when we went there, they didn't have this one. Yeah. So we got it from the bakery near our place. Yeah, some local bakery. Gosh, we, we tried so many sweets. I feel so high. Yeah, <laughs> right we had now. this sugar rush, whatever it's called. <laughs> so yeah, if you come to Goa, uh, you know what to try. A few desserts that won't let you indifferent all right thank you so much for watching and if you like this video click like because mm -hmm. it helps us a lot it's a big support for our channel and it's free you don't have to pay anything for subscribing or liking and by the way leave a comment which one do you think you would like the most and what desserts are common from your city state or region once again thank you so much for watching and we will see you on another Thanks. episode take care see you bye, bye. Hey. You wanna eat? You want to eat? Come drop, you wanna oh, try? Um, huh? It's not for cats, it's dessert for humans. I like it. That's you hmm? on the screen. That's Say you. hi. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> not the asshole. It melts in your mouth. Melts in your mouth. It melts in your mouth. Melts in your mouth. That's not gonna be on the <laughs> He's a sugar high. By sugar now it's pussy. It just melts in your mouth. Wow. Mm. Melts in your mouth. Just melts in your mouth.